Hello, I'm Janice Krauss, the Interim Rector at Christ Church. I'm really excited to share some wonderful news with you today. You see, we have found a solution to a problem that we have had at Christ Church for some years now. And most of you have recently become more and more aware of it. But first, let me get just a bit technical. Do you remember back about oh, 20 years or so when we had fax machines, dial-up modems, Hotmail, Yahoo, first time you got email? Back then, a fast internet connection ran around something about 800 baud per second. Now, technology, as we know, has changed tremendously in the past 20 years. At my house, for example, where we have a simple, basic internet connection, we currently run at 20,000 per second. But here at Christ Church, we've been making do with a connection that runs 1,200 per second. That's it. And it has resulted in a lot of drops, freeze frames, and just difficult connections. And after the last couple of weeks, when these things have become particularly troublesome, your vestry has decided to do something about it. Looking at options for our internet service in downtown Temple area, contacting various providers, and looking ahead to the time when more and more of our church life will be conducted over the internet. Remember, we already post weekly newsletters, announcements, as well as live streaming our Sunday service, which we will continue to do even after we regather. Well, looking at all of this, we have finally found a provider, a way to increase our connection from that 1200, think snail mail, Pony Express, remember dial-up modem, to 50,000. Now, if you think that 50,000 is overkill, that maybe that's the speed that you need for gaming, it's actually about the speed that we need for our new church camera. Remember the camera that we have put up that will allow us to have various angles? It also allows us to connect the sound directly into the feed so you will be able to hear everybody better. Now, it will allow us to do a lot of other exciting things. You know, we can probably watch the Super Bowl together on Super Bowl Sunday and, and other fun, exciting ideas. But we really need this new technology now in the church today so that you can worship with us, you can live stream with us, and we can all be gathered together at the same time. It can't happen immediately. There is a period of time when the new line needs to be put into place. But I'm praying that by the end of this summer, our connection should be dramatically better. And for that, let us all say, thank you, Vestry. Thank you, Sally and Amy, who put a lot of work into finding the best provider and finding out what our needs truly are. But let's all say, in addition to thank you, Alleluia. No drops, no freezes, no missing signals. I'd like to end today with this prayer that we have been saying during this pandemic, during this time apart. I really like it and I think you do too from what I've heard, um, but if you don't, just bear with me just a second. Let us pray. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to us as we wait in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make us equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring us courage to endure what cannot be avoided, for your will is health and wholeness. You are God, and we need you. Amen. I miss you, I love you, and I look forward to the day when we can give you even more exciting news. Bye-bye.